Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at recurrence relations, okay, which are really easy. And what they are is just a different way of representing a sequence. So we'll start off with this pretty basic example and then I'll work through another example. So you can see here we've got the sequence 3, 7, 15 and 31. Okay, now the relationship between one term to the next, you might be able to work it out, is we double the previous term, add one, and then that takes us to the next term. Okay, and we can define or write down this relationship using a recurrence relation. Now, before I write down how it works, we just need to maybe get used to some notation. And all that is, is if we write un like this, u subscript n, that equals the nth term of the sequence. So with a recurrence relation, you'll have something given to you like this, un plus one, okay? So to find the next term in the sequence, and that will usually be equal to some uh, expression involving the previous term. So for this sequence above, we said we double the previous term and then add one. So to find the next term, un plus one, it's gonna be equal to two times the previous term, which is un, and then we plus one, okay? And this here isn't enough to define, you know, the or to give the sequence, okay? And the reason for that is we need to be given an initial term to plug in. We need to be given an initial value, okay? So then we just finally need to say with u1 being equal to 3 in the uh, example above. So the way this would work is, say we want to find the second term, so we want to find u2. That's going to be equal to, well, 2 times the previous term, so 2 times u1 plus 1. And we were given that u1 was 3, so the second term is going to be 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1, which gives 7. And that is correct, because we can still see the original sequence. So let's look at an example question. So it says, find the first two terms of un plus 1 equals 2 multiplied by un squared, with u1 equaling 2. So to find, well, we have the first term, u1, that's equal to 2. So the second term, u2, that's going to be equal to 2 multiplied by u1 squared, which is going to be equal to 2 multiplied by 2 squared. And if we work that out, well, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, okay? And then finally, the third term, u3, that's going to be equal to 2 multiplied by u2 squared, and that's equal to 2, well, we know what u2 is, or the second term, that's equal to 8, so it's going to be 2 multiplied by 8 squared. 8 times 8, uh, it's 64, 64 times 2 is 128. Okay, and so these would be the first three terms of this recurrence relation. So hopefully this was useful. If it was, go over to my channel for tons more worked um, maths tutorials and worked exam questions, stuff like that. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.